in the street Know you probably heard of me Got a bag and fix my teeth Hope you hoes know it ain't cheap And I pay my mama bills I ain't got no time to chill Think these hoes be mad at me They baby father run a bill Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl D A N N Y J A E Postrophe TV in the back with another freaking video. So today I am going to be doing a video sharing my tips with you guys on how I have grown my YouTube channel to over 4,000 subscribers in less than a year. And by no means is that a lot of subscribers. By no means <laughs> am I a big YouTuber because I still consider myself a small YouTuber. However, this question was asked and I will put it on the screen. The person that asked me this question so thank you so much for this video idea because honestly y'all i don't feel like i have um did a lot in the youtube community and i would definitely want to do more i want to be a big youtuber however i know that takes time patience and dedication so today i'm just going to be sharing with you guys some tips that i learned along the way on how to grow a successful youtube channel so if you are not subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button It's down there's a little red button go ahead and click that because i'm sure you will learn something from this video and go ahead and turn on your post notifications by clicking that little bell down there as well because that helps me out so yeah guys without further ado let's just jump to the video so the very first thing that i want to say and this is a super 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 important tip and that is start youtube because you generally like making videos you like editing you like coming up with content the main thing with youtube is you have to be doing it because you really like it you're not going to become a youtube sensation overnight well, actually, you might, but it's rare that you just become a YouTube sensation overnight. It takes hard work. So make sure that you're doing YouTube for the right reasons. And it could be because, like I said, you like filming videos, you like editing videos, you like thinking of new content, or you just want to share your life or whatever you like, fashion, whatever. So always keep in mind, YouTube must be something that you truly enjoy and truly love or else you're just going to be putting out content that you don't even like, that's not even good, and it'll be really, really bad. Um, so, yeah, that's the first thing. Do YouTube because you really want to do YouTube, not because you're in it for the money. Another tip that I would like to give that I have struggled with myself is consistency. You must be consistent. And when I say consistent, I'm saying you must post like maybe once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever your schedule is. And that's what you start with. Um, you need to stay consistent. And like I said, y'all, I struggle with this myself. I used to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like clockwork. And then I started Brown Girl Brand. And if you haven't shot Brown Girl Brand, go ahead and click the link in the description box so you can shop but yeah i started brown girl brand i have a full-time job so it's a lot of variables that kind of stop me from posting and filming every monday wednesday and friday which is why i use sundays to film like a bulk of my videos but yeah i definitely would say consistency that is the key because it's so important because once you start gaining subscribers which you will once you start gaining your subscribers, they are going to get used to your upload schedule. So my subscribers were used to me posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So when I stopped or when I missed a day, you know, they're wondering where you at, what's going on. And if they're scrolling through their YouTube timeline and they don't see you, your subscribers will forget about you. So you have to make sure you're posting frequently in order to stay relevant kind of in the YouTube community because everybody does YouTube, y'all. Everybody makes YouTube videos everybody creates content everybody's a youtuber so you have to make sure you stay relevant in the youtube community so being consistent that's another thing that is super 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 important um the next thing i want to talk about is your filming equipment so i started youtube about a year ago and i started filming on my ipad and the quality was horrible y'all if y'all scroll back and look at my very first video y'all gonna be like really so really because the quality was horrible but i knew i wanted to do youtube and i wanted to stop making excuses so i just decided to just go ahead and film with what i had which happened to be an ipad so that is what i used and then eventually i started using my iphone and i had an iphone 7 plus at the time so i did use that 
and I'm actually right now I'm feeling filming on my iPhone 8 plus so as we see the iPhone quality is really really good so you definitely can use your iPhone I do have a can power shot as well which I film videos on and then I also have um, a Sony Alexum with the flip screen that I use for vlogging so over time you will get more cameras and you will get better quality but I say just go for it stop making excuses saying I don't have a camera I don't have this I don't have that because you can be successful and you can grow your channel with just a uh, iPad, uh, iPhone, or a simple camera like that, you can, and it will really, really work, and it will benefit you if you just try. Um, and so that's the cameras. You can use your iPhone or whatever the case may be. Just jump in and do it. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is editing software, and quite frankly, I use iMovie, and iMovie is like super beneficial because it's free y'all it's free so if you're an apple person or if you have a macbook then you can the macbooks already come with imovie installed on it and imovie is basically just an easy editing software and a lot of times the things that you can do on your um iphone you can do on your macbook because there is an app that you can download which is called imovie so a lot of times i edit on my phone using imovie because i'm always on the go so maybe if i film a video like this one if i don't have time to edit it today i may edit it on my lunch break because i am filming with my phone for this particular video so yeah imovie is beneficial but there is also final cut pro which is super expensive so if you're just starting out i don't recommend that you get imovie i recommend i mean i I don't recommend that you get Final Cut Pro. I recommend that you start with iMovie because it is free and you can do a lot of the same things that you do with i with Final Cut Pro with iMovie. So yeah, that is something that I use that I think is helpful is iMovie. Um, the next thing I want to cover is professionalism. So you want to make sure your channel is somewhat professional. So you want to make sure you have a channel banner. You want to make sure you have an intro and an outro. Um, you also want to make sure that your channel is cohesive maybe making sure your thumbnails all match, which mine's don't y'all. My thumbnails do not match. Um, they're not cohesive which i am going to try to make sure they are cohesive but when i'm creating thumbnails i pretty much just go on a whim whatever i'm feeling that's how i create them so yeah um you want to make sure your channel is professional it's cohesive and it really speaks to your audience so if you're a fitness youtuber you may want to make your banner you know fitness related lifestyle beauty Whatever it is, you want to make sure you have your um, channel cohesive and you also want to have a profile picture. And it's important to make sure your profile picture matches your profile picture maybe on your Instagram or your Twitter just so when your subscribers want to follow you on different platforms, they can relate and see, okay, yeah, there she is. Okay, there she goes. So that they know it's the same person. You kind of want to make sure everything matches so your subscribers kind of know what's going on so they know what's T, okay? So yeah, that's another thing. Um, another thing I want to touch on is your background when you're filming. So if y'all watch me frequently, y'all know I film everywhere. I film in my house. I film in my car. Um, it just, it doesn't matter where I film. However, it is important to have a centralized and not cluttery background so right now i am just filming um on a blank wall which is always good and i am using natural lighting so i have a window right here and then i have you guys propped up on a table and then my background is plain and it's good to have a non-cluttered or plain background so that your subscribers can see like who you are what you're working with what you got going on because if i had all this stuff going in the background my camera may be trying to focus on something back there um your background doesn't have to be this plain because honestly if i continue filming right here i may put like a picture up here or like some plants over here not sure some greenery would be pretty like on my sides so yeah i may do that but yeah it's important to not have a cluttered um background that's really 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 important 
Um, another thing that is important when you're trying to grow your YouTube channel is to be personable. Make sure you're responding to your comments if you're getting them. Make sure you're liking them. Making sure that if people who watch your channel have channels, go check them out. You may um, find a new YouTube content creator that you actually like and want to watch. So it's really important to be personable and reply to your comments when you get them so that the, your subscribers know that you are relatable and that you are a person that's actually reading their comments. Now, y'all, y'all gonna get them stupid comments. Y'all gonna get them dumb comments from people that's just rude and we can delete those or you can reply sometime if i got time i will be petty i will be petty y'all and i will respond but a lot of times i just let it go so yeah that's um another tip just be personable and respond to comments um but mainly just be consistent, be personable, be professional, and everybody has different content. Everybody is different, so it just depends on who your audience is, and you know, once your audience discovers you, they will fall in love with you. You just have to make sure that you are posting frequently. My main tip and biggest tip is to be consistent and not do YouTube for the money. I know we see like a lot of big, 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 big YouTubers that are like, have a million, 100,000, 200,000, 400,000 subscribers and they are making money. However, we're just starting out. So yeah, I get a check from YouTube every month and if it helps me pay a bill or gas, however, I'm not doing it for that. I genuinely like to film and I genuinely like to record and edit and I genuinely like meeting new people and things like that. So that's why I do YouTube. So you have to make sure you're doing YouTube for the right reasons. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come and um, kind of talk on my experience and the things that I do to grow my YouTube channel. I also post on my other social media networks like um, Instagram and Snapchat, which I will leave on the screen. I post when I drop a new video um, on those social media platforms just so that other people can see. I utilize my Facebook and I do have a separate Facebook page for YouTube. So you have to really focus on marketing and how you market your YouTube channel. If you don't care about your channel and you don't care about growing it, you're not gonna be posting on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, but if you care, you're gonna be trying to get your channel out to as many people as possible. So yeah, that's another thing. Utilize your marketing and social media networks in order to promote. And the last thing that I wanted to touch on is people's opinions. You have to have a big heart and you have to have a strong heart and you have to be just like an all around, um, not cold person, but you have to be a strong person because if you're in high school or college or whatever, nine times out of 10, people who watch your videos, you know, they, they're going to discover you. So if you don't have like a strong heart or if you don't have like a um, strong skin, tough skin, then you may not make it because if you're in high school, then you're putting your life on the internet, regardless if you're posting vlogs or whatever you're posting, you're putting yourself out there on the internet. So people who you know will find you. So unless you have tough skin, you, you can't make it because you will have haters. You will have people that make fun of you. You will have people wondering why you're doing it. Everybody doesn't get it. Everybody doesn't get the YouTube world. So just make sure you have tough skin because you're going to need it in order to last in the YouTube world. And that is coming from somebody that has experienced that. I personally put myself out there. And yeah, I still have people that be like, you know, why are you doing YouTube? Boop, and, that YouTube? and it's because I love it. So unless you have tough skin, you're not going to make it. So yeah, those are just my tips that I have on how I grew my YouTube channel. And yeah. If you guys have a YouTube channel, what are some more questions that you have? I could do a part two. And what are some things that you guys are doing to grow your channel? I would love to know. Leave them down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Reporting live from the internet. Signing out. Back to you, world. Bye, guys. Ooh, these expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes Hit the score, I can get them both, I don't quick Cut a nigga off, so don't get caught